Hi guys, this is my October favorites and um, I did my best to have interesting products in here because I keep switching out stuff and if you guys do not know, I'm at school, but you guys should know by now. So um, my time is very limited. Anytime, pretty much. Like, I thought it was just midterms I'd be limited to time, but nope, it's like constantly here. So, um, what I'm going to show you guys today is what I've been using all month and what I am in love with and all that good stuff. Obviously, I switch out products like crazy, so it's not like I use one thing at a time. I will switch out between my Urban Decay palettes, my NYX palettes, and then use something from Wet n Wild or Revlon or whatever. Um, lately, I've been using a lot of Revlon, I guess. And Maybelline, or whatever. I use just a lot of everything, so I'm not gonna pinpoint exactly one because it never is. So we are just going to get started in all of this. I feel really bad because I just did like my September favorites because that went up later than planned, and then I had another video. So um, I'm just hoping that I get this done on time and that I can upload it for everyone to see. So I'm gonna get started with everything. I'm first going to start off with face products, and what I'm going to do is um, actually talk about Revlon Colorstay and you would think the whipped one but actually it's the original Colorstay version that I am showing you guys today. This is just uh, normal dry skin and it is in the shade Natural Tan. So why have I geared back towards this? Well, for some reason, I feel like this matches my skin tone way more than the whipped one. The whipped one, I feel, has a more orange undertone in that kind of formula. I don't know what it is. It's just, it seems more orange than this one. This seems to match my natural skin tone more. I'm also getting paler, so that's always fun. Um, so since I'm getting paler, it's hard to match my skin tone for certain things. I might have to go to my winter shade quite soon, which I'm unhappy about because getting paler and just no one likes that, of course, even me. Um, sometimes I'll use a primer with this. Sometimes I won't. It really depends. Um, this stuff stays on forever. Oh my goodness. Um, I wore this yesterday, and I have an, uh, have an 11 a.m. yesterday, and then today I had an 8 a.m. So at 11 a.m. Um, is my class, and so before then, I would wake up at 9, and I or at least try to wake up at 9. I stay in bed for 30 minutes, and then I actually get up. So I put this on, and then I did the rest of my makeup, went to class, went to go work out, came back here, took a nap, and then I took a shower, didn't bother to start my makeup again. I went out to do a photo shoot, but I was the one taking the pictures, so I didn't have to look totally proper, totally made up, totally full face makeup or anything like that. And I almost fell asleep without washing my face, especially when I had this stuff on. And I thought I just didn't have any more makeup on, especially around my eyes, because in the shower, it all bled away. So I get a little cotton ball, and I get my toner that's from Neutrogena, and I just go over my face, and there is foundation that comes off of my face. When I applied this at 10 a.m., and it was about 12 when I took all that toner all over my face. What the toner does is that it pretty much takes away any dirt that's in your face, and you're sp technically supposed to wash it off first, and then you apply the toner. Um, but I was really tired. I was like, I need to do something in my face to get everything off completely so I know there's nothing there. So I ended up just using my toner, and foundation came off. Guys, I took a nap. I took a shower. I worked out. And I didn't really like scrub my face in the shower. I just kind of splashed it with water. That was about it. Um, yes, Revlon Color Stay. I need nothing else in my life, pretty much. Sorry, that was a really long story, guys. Um, of course, after that is always conceal concealer. Ooh, everything after that's always concealer. All right, all right, guys. So this is my depotted Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Awesome stuff. Depotted it. Looks really nasty, but. Um, this lasts forever. I've almost had this for over a year now. Um, since I switch out different things, nothing really goes away super quick. So, uh, of course, my favorite thing to do with my eyes is top liner. So this is the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Liner. Um, I like this for every day. The thing I do not like about this is that it will get kind of grayish. It won't be pure black. And I don't know if that's just the gloss of it and not being totally matte. But I keep having to go back over lines and stuff. But I do like the applicator of this because it's a sturdy brush. It's not so flimsy. And I'm using this till I run out and then I'll probably switch to my Linear Intense. And I also don't like using my Urban Decay one constantly. Um, 
I like my Urban Decay one, but I don't think it's worth $17. I honestly prefer the liquid liner over the Urban Decay one, even though the Urban Decay applicator is amazing. Um, I really like my L'Oreal Linear Intense one. So, um, I've been using this a lot, and especially because liquid liner, when you apply it after doing all of your makeup, it just enhances your look so much more. It brings it from just like being normal everyday makeup and it makes you more like put together, more polished and everything like that. So it's just like one of those quick easy steps and I've gotten so much better at it. I can't really like teach you guys how to put on liquid eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner. <laughs> I could try. I don't know if I'd be too good at it. So um, the next after that is the Mega Plush Maybelline Mascara. I can't remember what I bought this. Um, it is just soft lashes that you have and they are really natural. I use this constantly for work because I seriously put foundation on, powder, and then mascara, and then I go. That's all the makeup I can wear to work. So this stuff is absolutely fantastic and I'm moving my camera. Good job, Allie. Um, this is the waterproof formula because it holds my curl. I absolutely love this mascara. Um, I'm not, I'm not wearing it today because I use something else because I try to bring in and out things. Um, I absolutely love this. I highly recommend this. And especially for work, it's like Maybelline one by one, but it's that in between between one by one and falsies. And I love all three. So, um, I will switch them out, but this one is absolutely amazing. So this product I got kind of a long time ago. I can't remember exactly when. I think it was like buy one, get one 50% off at um, Bright Aid for Wet n Wild products. So this is um, Mega Glow Illuminating Powder and it's called Spotlight Peach. And this is kind of a dark shade. You mix it all together and you get one shade. What I will do with this is that I'll take a brush, like a blush brush, and I sweep it over my cheeks after blending it all together. And it doesn't give you like a bright pink cheek. It's more mauve toned. And so it kind of, it's that whole like contouring and like shaping your cheeks and everything like that. And it's really interesting because I don't have a blush like this and it's Wet n Wild. I don't notice a difference between any of the Wet n Wild ones, like, because I know e.l.f. is really like flaky, chalky, flaky. Um, these ones aren't like that, but pretty much you like swirl it all together. And then you get this shade if you can see it. It's just like a little dark, but it's not a lot. And especially on my cheeks, it actually shows up. If you were lighter than me, um, it's hard to say how it actually appear, but it's wet and wild, so honestly, if you really wanted to, you could, <laughs> might use this as a contour. It has sort of a red undertone rather than a cool one, so it's really up to you if you like that kind of bronzer or not, but it's wet and wild. I think it's like $1.99 for this, and I have one other one. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Catwalk, but um, I will always go on and on with this, and so I came back to it. I'm just like, I remember this. This is cool. So, um, last few things, well, makeup wise at least, um, is this lip con combo. Condom. Yes, condom. No. Combo. So, it was La Femme on YouTube, and her name is Lindsay, and she has some number behind her username, but um, I just call her La Femme. She said that her favorite was combining the Revlon Just Bitten lip stain with a Revlon lip butter. Oh my god, you guys, best idea in the world. What happens is that when you wear Revlon lip butter, it comes off of your lips after a while and it won't really leave any color on. But if you wear the stain with it, then it leaves color on your lips afterwards. So when you use both of these, oh, absolute perfection. You have a beautiful color and you have a gloss. Even though the gloss doesn't stay entirely too long you still have that stain underneath and it makes your lips look so beautiful um i absolutely love this red lip color on me um depending on my outfit it goes really well with my hair too but anytime i take pictures my hair ends up looking like a dark brown or a black so um just in person i'll wear this it's more of a um tomato red rather than a cool toned red um which i never thought would look good on me you have to be careful about your teeth because some red lipsticks will make your teeth look yellow or they'll make them look even whiter than normal. I can't remember which side. You would think that the blue toned reds would make your lips look, or your teeth look yellow because they're complementary colors. So they're gonna clash more and they're gonna contrast more and all that stuff. Um, I'm getting all autistic with this, but I highly recommend these. And I have six of these 
And what you can do is just mix and match with these absolute perfection. Just play with whatever you have. You might not even have a lot of choices with these, but that is completely okay. Nail polish. I actually have nail polish this month. So um, I'm slightly getting back into the fall kind of nail polish thing. And of course, I do work, so it's hard for me to actually keep up with it. Um, so these are both Chai Glaze nail polishes. This over here is Awakening, and this is called Avalanche. It's just metallic colors. This one was on my toes, and this one was on my nails for a little bit. Um, I love both these because they're metallics, and I got complimented on both of these. So when anyone like compliments my nail polish, I'm just like, oh my god, thank you. Um, my friend Justin, yeah, my guy friend complimented on my nails with these. He's just like, your toes look so nice and metallic. I was like, thanks. Um, so these are awesome. Ta-da. So I got these from Sally Beauty Supply about a year ago or a little over a year ago, I think. Um, okay. So, that's it for makeup, actually, and I'm going to go over a few clothes. Um, not so many, just a little bit. I will first go over this shirt because it's really random and it's not really fashion forward. Um, and it's inside out. <laughs> I miss my boyfriend quite a lot. A lot. I miss my boyfriend a lot. Yes, we'll just go with that. So, um, he'll give me his shirts when I'm at home and then I'll wear them. And this is a John Mayer shirt that he gave me. And how can I not like this? It's my boyfriend's. It's a John Mayer shirt, and it's super soft. Um, I am in love with this shirt because it's just... It reminds me of my boyfriend and being back home. Like, I miss him so much, and it's ridiculous how soft this shirt is. Um, so I'm absolutely in love with that. Like, if I could wear this shirt all the time, I'd be so happy. Oh my god, you, you have no idea. I could just... It's look that flattering on me. Then, if you guys remember my haul video, I went shopping to a whole bunch of places, and the thing I've been loving the most is this sweater that's from Aerie, you guys already saw it. It's so comfy, and I got it in a size small, so it's not extra small. It's so ridiculously comfy. I can sleep in this, I can go out wherever with this, and I wear it with black leggings. These are just from Dillard's, I think and um, these are just simple black leggings you can use any honestly and my combat boots if I could wear this outfit all day all fall long I'd be so happy um these are comfy because they keep my feet warm if it's cold in the morning and then leggings are like freaking sweatpants but you look sexier in them <laughs> and then the sweater is just big comfy cozy so um that's if I could just wear that all fall you guys I'd, I'd be so happy my life would be complete. Um, so the last thing I've just been obsessed with Instagram. My Instagram name is just allybally13, like everything else under the sun, um, besides Tumblr. My Instagram, my Tumblr name is not allybally13. Um, I absolutely love my Instagram. Uh, this is a picture I posted yesterday of me going to the gym, and I was in the bathroom because I had to change because I change. Um, there after class and I just took a picture and there's me in my workout outfit um I'm sore from yesterday but you guys should follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff that's everything guys um I'm really out of breath now wow um I've been requested to do new triple A's for Hollister I did not get that much but I will show you guys it's possible I might switch out some stuff because I have the receipts and tags left so that will be coming up also, and um, possibly a getting ready with me video if it's not already out because of all this. You probably can't see my makeup right now, but this is a long video. So I'm going to go because I'm going to do a little bit of editing and stuff and see what I can get up, even though I just posted a video a few days ago. So yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all doing fabulous. If you have any kind of requests or anything like that, um... Hit me up in the comments because I'll be doing fall love tag also. So I will see you guys later. Um, oh my god, I miss making YouTube videos. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye!